enchanted mirror. Raw magic leashed to a bauble. Almost sad. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What think you of the Zalkir known as Zastan? You are no Zalkir, but are you wise? Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? Acceptable, finally. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? You seek to survive. You seek power. Be welcome. Well, that ends. Not to try. Be cautious. There. Looking ahead. Looks like a trap. book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Beneath the allure, you feel the faintest echo of torment. There is great power in this book but also great suffering. Curious? Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? Irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly you are capable of anything. 
Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. So much promised. But what is sought in return? Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Symbols move aggressively, probing your mental defenses. Your patron is there to defend you, but there's only so much they can do. The world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. Glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you you should never have known.